So here again is the hypothalamus. Right over here, this place where you see this bulge, this is the medial side of one of the two thalami. So you have two thalami, and this is one of them. And you can see right over here, there is a little knob here. This represents the place where, in most brains, you have a bridge of tissue connecting the two thalami. So this is referred to as the interthalamic adhesion. This is the interthalamic adhesion. So right over here we have the thalamus. And we're only seeing a small part of the thalamus because it, it bulges behind what you're seeing here. So you're only seeing a small piece of this egg-shaped uh, mass of, of, of neural tissue. And right above the thalamus, we have what is called the epithalamus. Now the epithalamus, the most important structure of the epithalamus is right over here. It's, it's colored pink. And this structure represents the pineal gland. It's an unpaired structure. And right over here, right in front of the pineal gland, we have another commissure. Right over here, we have the posterior commissure. So the anterior commissure was right over here, right in front of the interventricular foramen. And right over here, near the pineal gland, we have the posterior commissure. The roof of the third ventricle is where you're going to find the choroid plexus. So this right over here represents the location of the choroid plexus. The choroid plexus is the location where cerebral spinal fluid is going to be secreted into the ventricles, at least one of the locations where cerebral spinal fluid is secreted into the ventricles. And you also have choroid plexus in the lateral ventricles, which you don't see here, and also in the roof of the fourth ventricle.